It's the most destructive disease on Bermuda grass in areas where Bermuda grass goes dormant. And I think that's really key because what this fungus does um, is it invades and infects the tissue about a 70 to 65 degree soil temperature window. And then the thought is that it makes it more prone to cold stress. So that's why you get these distinct patches after it greens up because it never allowed it to green back up over the winter months. So with spring dead spot, very unique disease in that we make the applications in the fall of the year. So uh, typically we target a 70 degree soil temperature window, which for us in North Carolina has usually been around October 1st in most cases. And we typically make two applications on a 21 or 28 day interval. It worked very well. Uh, it actually, this year, outperformed the gold standard of Velista, which has been our go-to product. When we mixed it with Headway, three fluid ounces of Headway, kind of thinking for a greens type program, it was even better. Uh, it was almost flawless control, which is really hard to do in our trials. So after this year, I think it is very, very promising. Like I said, we rarely see complete control and a number of the plots that we had, we saw no spring dead spot uh, in the plots, which is very, very unusual for us. Music